All right, boys, so I'm actually gonna keep the vlogs rolling uh, throughout the winter a little bit. We will see how much, uh, but uh, yeah, every now, and, uh, every now and then I'm gonna go out pike fishing and I think it's pretty fun to do these videos and uh, I think it's a good idea to keep them coming throughout the winter so you're ready for next season when it kicks off in Norway again. So uh, yeah, anyhow, I'm excited because I'm gonna be fishing pike tomorrow. I haven't fishing, I haven't fished for pike in so long um, and I'm gonna take my uh, boat out for the first time in <laughs> it feels like years holy shit man wait so yeah anyway I'm living on the countryside in Sweden uh, we normally have some sheep yeah we got some sheep running over there um, yeah in the woods here we got the little cute boat little buster got some new paint job done today Looking fresh, um, yeah, you know, I've been uh, trailing uh, this boat all over Sweden since I was 18 now. Um, perfect little, perfect little light aluminum boat to, yeah, I mean, super easy to throw in every other lake around here. A lot of lakes don't have too good ramps, so. Super fun to take that one out again. Anyhow, I have been uh, I've been looking over my uh, my gear. It's been so long I didn't even know what kind of. Uh, it's been so long I didn't even know what kind of equipment I had for for pike fishing anymore. <laughs> and now I'm gonna be spooling on some line on my reels to have some fresh line for tomorrow. I'm gonna be fishing Saturday and Sunday, so going out with a friend tomorrow and on Sunday I'm going out with my dad. I'm in, um, in the garage at home now, full on butcher shop in here, because we sent away like six of the sheep to slaughter now in the beginning of the week and they're, the meat is coming back today or yeah today and tomorrow they're gonna make sausages and steaks and stuff in here all day so when I'm done fishing I'm gonna be joining them for the sausage party <laughs> and I have done a lot of trolling in my days for pike but uh, I have a lot of faith in big rubber baits with curly tail especially in the fall so I'm not a pro or anything in pike fishing but uh, this one has been hammered pretty good I don't know what they are, like 50 centimeter bulldog pounder maybe, I don't know what they're called. I know it's a bulldog anyway. Juicy stuff, got some twin tails. I don't know what this one's called, like mac tail maybe. Svartsonker tail. Everyone today on YouTube is fishing Mira's mouse. I don't know, gonna give that one a try as well. I don't know what the hype is about with that one, but got some jerk baits, a lot of busters. My good friend Emil, back in the days on the Sport Fishing Academy, made some handmade jerk baits. I think he called this one the Poet or something. Caught some good fish on that one. Yeah, some rubber baits. First time I'm gonna be trying out the bull tees from Esteem. It was so long ago I fished for pike. These ones were not even a thing last time I fished for pike. Looking really juicy and good. I don't know too much about uh, baits and stuff for pike nowadays. Back in the good old days when I was on the sport fishing academy, you know, I knew everything about all the baits and stuff. So, but I've been away for too long fishing halibut, so I don't know anything. But I got like a Svartsonker rod right there. This is like a Savage Gear 8.6 foot rod as well with the Calcutta. I think that's what I'm fishing with. Yeah, it's so gonna put on some new line on the Calcutta and uh, then uh, I see you guys in the morning. You! Pike session for years. Let's go. Come on, 
like whatever. Alltså jag har inte gjort det här på hundra år så att jag vet inte ens vad jag vill fiska med. Fan vad sjukt. Nej, äh, kanske kör... Eh, en liten gig även eh, kanske. Jerkbait? Nej. Nej, inte ännu. <laughs> vi vi avvaktar med om vi är så knuffliga. Ja. Äh, vad fan är den här skulle... Vi testar den. Där har folk sagt att den är jättebra. Kärtis eller vad det är. Så. Vad fan. Då har du då håll där framme nu så ska vi nog banka upp en jävel. Nu är vi inne på fyra och en halv. Jag glömde säga det. <laughs> ah, just det, just det. Den här kanske? Jag vet inte fan vad man ska ha. Det är en liten sån Johnny Wobbler. Ja. Runt i de bästa ställena i Sverige så har du... Jag bara vet att det kommer saft i. Ja! Men jag fattar inte varför jag kör med det här betet egentligen. Jag har aldrig fått en fisk på det. Aldrig fiskat med Kolla på Youtube. Jävlar vad jag får fisk på det här betet. Det ska jag fiska med. Fan vad coolt. Håll i hatten. Smack. Jag trycker igång den går på den också. Fan, vi drev perfekt där med en halv knop så här driver vi mig inne. Jävla snyggt. All right boys, so I said I'm gonna be vlogging a little bit today, so I kind of have to talk a little bit English, but it's uh, kind of nice to come home and fish and talk Swedish for the first time in a long time. <laughs> uh, anyhow, we have been fishing for a couple hours now in the morning or like one or one and a half hour or something. No bites, no bites at all, but uh, it's like the lake we're fishing is uh, normally not this dirty water. Here it's not like that bad as it was out on the first spot. We were fishing like a free a big reef with deep water around in the beginning and out there the water was like super dirty. You, you had like maybe, I don't know, 30, 40 centimeters of visibility at tops. So, uh, It didn't kind of feel too good. I don't know too much. I mean, I haven't been doing this for so long now, so I don't have any preferences or anything, but I've been fishing here many times before. So at the, this this spot we're fishing now is like a three, th three to four meter big shelf with a lot of grass and uh, or weeds. And where I'm casting right now is like a stone pile. Uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a try here. Then we're gonna fish some deep reeds in the south part of the lake. We got some nice southwest wind today. It's like 10 degrees and in my opinion, super good freaking conditions right now. It's like smelling big pike and uh, I'm waiting for my first bite in years actually. So it's gonna be so fun when we actually get one freaking pike to bite. It shouldn't be too hard, but it's like you're not You're not aiming for spots with a lot of fish nowadays though, because like... I mean, it's fun to catch fish and all, but uh, both me and Anton, we want to catch big fish, so... We're kind of fishing spots where we have a good chance of catching, especially that 10 kilo pike, so hopefully we can uh, come close to it today anyway. Would be nice, so yeah, I come back to you when something happens. 
Boys, den är asfyr du! Jävlar! Hej! Mäktil! Wow! Du, vi sa det precis wow. där med he! Fy fan vad cool! Hey, jag tar fram mattan, håll han här lite. Nej, vad fan, det är en eh, 6 kilo sedan. Nej, det är större. Wow! Kolla vad du är till eller inte? Vad fan, kolla, det är en massa bete. Så vi ska mot den här. Puff! Och du vet, han kom upp på svalde skiten och gjorde så mycket slag i innan. Så jag stod där och kollade, där är Och så bara, vänta, jag har ju den. All right, boys. My first bike in freaking years and it's a really good fish. Ja. Look at this fish, bro. Yo, I have to show you. There's my bait. Gunso! Gunso! So, uh, first fish of the day, first pike for me in like so long. Um, I'm gonna weigh her right now. She's a really big fat lady on 115. And. It's zeroed out, and the fish is weighing. Holy shit! 11, 12, 11.7. Yeah, 11.7. Yeah, and the bag is 0.35. Yeah, 0.30. So 11.4. There we go. Woo! Right, 11.4 and 115. Gonna give her a drink, take a couple more pictures, and then uh, let her swim. It's tough for me to describe when I say I'm gonna come home and fish for pike and go out and take a fish like that immediately. So I don't think it's that like how it's supposed to be, but uh, yeah, it was hell of a fun strike. I don't know, man. I'm happy. It's fucking sick. <laughs> I'm super stoked. I mean, going from big halibuts coming home fish for pike, it's a. Uh, it feels kind of strange, but but like. I saw that fish, it, I don't know how soon I got the camera on my head on, but like it came up in the surface behind my bait and make, made like a big swirl. And I told my friend like, oh, I had a fish after. And then I felt that it actually took my bait. So I set the hook and I was like, oh, what the fuck? I didn't understand shit. I haven't done this in a long time. <laughs> um, but I was fishing with the yeah, a bait I've been fishing with a lot when I was younger. Svartsonker tail. No, Mac tail, I think the name is. And then with like a big tail like this, I really like these ones. And it goes kind of in the surface. I don't really know. Look kind of good. We had like four meters outside, like a big patch of reeds with deep waters outside. And I just got some bait fish on the sonar under the boat. And I told my friend like, oh, look at the, the bait fish on the bottom. And then same second after, bang on. So it worked good with dirty water and a floral tail like this one. Felt good. Uh, yeah, I think it's time to keep fishing now and take another one. <laughs> Holy shit, I had a... Insane strike, I was looking the other way. I just said to Anton like, all right, let's take one in there. And then <laughs> it was like a super strange quick strike. And I looked uh, in that direction and uh, yeah, the pike was just thrashing around in the surface. I tried to hook him, but I missed him. <laughs> I think he felt the hook. It was not too small. It looked, uh, looked all right. Not like the last one, but I still have my bank. Ah, I need to see all the motors. Lift, 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 lift. Nah, quite right, quite right. Oh, 
Woo! Snipey, snipey. Watch out! Watch my tail. Holy shit, he took it hard. All right. Cute little pike. Oh my god. Var han helt ny i det betet eller? Se om det är några bitmärkarna. Jag ska dyfta på sidan. Kolla tejlen här. Det är spännande. Det kan ju vara en grästurva som stack upp också. Jag trodde att det var bomb. Så jag har bara tagit av kameran. För att Anton sa att jag hade en bit. Men vi är inte säkra vad det är. Jag har bara tagit av kameran. Och den här lilla fälla kom upp och bara... ...smackade mig så hårt, man. <laughs> so much fun! <laughs> Cute fish! <sighs> oh man! I forgot how... Uh, ...good looking the fish is in this lake. Look at this. So good. Going back. Yeah, look at that. I mean, you thought that that was too fast. Men den kommer på en jävla fart alltså. Ja, jag får ta med fan en macka när jag är hungrig. Just missed the fish. I think he only grabbed the tail or something, but... Super quick strike. Let's see if he... Wanna take it again?